Good morning. Hello. It's Miss Allison here at the Pinson Public Library, and it's time for another story time for growing beans. Are you ready to get started? I'm ready to get started. So today I'm going to share a book with you and an activity, and we're going to have lots of fun. Are you ready? Good job. So today our book is called Press Here, and it is written and illustrated by Hervé Toulet. And it's one of my favorite books. So for this one, I'm gonna need your help. Can you help me? Great. So I'm gonna need your help to finish reading this book. Um, we're gonna have to use our fingers. Can you point one finger up and show me your pointer finger? Let me see it. Great, so keep that handy. You are gonna have to use that in today's book. Are you ready? Press here and turn the page. So this is where you need your fingers, fingers up, and we're gonna touch the dot in the middle. Touch, see what happens. What happened? Now there are how many dots? Two, two yellow dots. Great, now press the yellow dot again. So here we go, fingers up. Press the dot, what do you think will happen? <gasps> now there are three dots, there are three of them, perfect. We're gonna rub the dot on the left very gently. So that's this one right here. Here we go, use our fingers, let's rub it very gently. And what happened to the dot? It's red now instead of yellow, right? Well done. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the one on the right. And we're gonna do it very gently. You ready? Fingers up. Here we go. Very gently. And what happens? It turned what color? Blue. So we have a red dot, a yellow dot, and a blue dot. Fabulous. So we're gonna do five quick taps on the yellow dot. So here we go, we got our fingers five times. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. What happens? Now there are five yellow dots. Now we're gonna do five taps on the red dot. Got your finger ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. What happens? Now there are five dots, five red dots. Very good. And so finally, we're going to do the blue dot as well. Five times tapping. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Look at all of those dots. Those are perfect. So we have five red dots and five yellow dots and five blue dots. Great job. So now we're going to try to shake the book just a little bit. So can you do a little shake? Just a little, just a little shake. Shake them up. Oh, they're not in a line anymore. They're kind of all scattered, right? That's not bad. So maybe let's try shaking a little harder. So let's try shaking it a little harder. Can you shake it? <laughs> Very good. Whoa, the dots went everywhere. Well done. Now we're going to tilt the page to the left just to see what happens. So can you... Tilt to the left. They all fell to the left, right? And now we're gonna tilt to the right. Here we go, tilt to the right. Whoa, they all fell there. All right, good job. Now we're gonna shake the book one more time just to get everything back in order. Ready? We're gonna shake all together on the count of three. One, two, three, shake. Ooh, they're all in a nice line. That's very interesting. Now we're gonna try pressing down really hard on the yellow dots. Ready? Fingers up, really hard, okay? Oh, good job. Who turned off the lights? What happened? 
That's pretty funny. The lights went out and the yellow ones are glowing. So let's turn the lights back on. So we're going to press the yellow dots again. Here we go. Press, 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 press. And the lights are back on. Great. That is perfect. Now we're going to press hard on all of the dots. Really hard. All at once. Are you ready? You know what? I think you might need even five fingers for this. I'll do four gonna press them all. Ready? Here we go. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, oh, press that one really hard. Ooh, the lights are out, but all of the dots are glowing. That's not bad. All right, we're gonna shake them up a little bit more. Can you do a little shake? Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? It's like an arc, almost like a rainbow. So now we're going to try blowing on them to get rid of the black. Are you ready? Just a little blow. Ready? Hmm. Maybe try blowing a little harder. Ooh, that might have been a little too hard. Stand the book up straight to make those dots drop back down. So we're going to do this way, and we're going to do this way, and this way. Let's see if we can get them to go back. And, ooh, there they all are. There we go, it's perfect. Now we're gonna clap our hands once. Are you ready? On the count of three, we're gonna clap one time. Ready? One, two, three, clap. <laughs> what happened to the dots? They got bigger, right? All right, now can we clap two times? Here we go, on the count of three, we're gonna clap two times. One, two, three. Three. Ooh, they got bigger. Okay, we're gonna try to clap three times. Are you ready? Here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna do three big claps. One, two, three. Wow, all right. Now you just start clapping a whole bunch. Just start clapping, just start clapping. Keep going, keep going, keep clapping. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Oh, wow, they got bigger. Keep clapping, keep clapping. Let me hear it. Keep your clapping going on. Whoa, they got huge. Keep clapping, big claps, lots of them. Keep going, keep going. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think that's a little too loud. That might be just a little bit too loud. So now it's so big that we even have a dot in the middle. What color is the dot in the middle of the yellow dot? It is white, right? So we're gonna do our fingers up again and we're gonna press on the white dot. There we go. Bravo! Now we're back where we started with one yellow dot. And you could do it all over again, couldn't you? <laughs> Great job, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for your help. All that clapping was great. And thank you very much to your finger. Can you tell your finger thank you? Thank you, finger. I'm going to be sure I clean you really good later. Right? We're going to make sure we wash our hands. Um, and that was awesome. You guys are great. <laughs> All right. So now we've finished our book and our next activity. I have some dots. So I'm going to put them up here so you can see them. One, two, three dots. Let's look at these dots and see if we can figure out what colors they are first. What color is this dot? Very good, it's orange. How about this one? Green, awesome. And this one is pink, very good. So we have three dots and they are different colors. Do you see anything else that's different about them? Hmm, what's different? Any ideas? Oh, I know, they're different sizes, right? So some of the dots are bigger than the others and some of the dots are smaller than the others. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can figure it out. So let's start with this one. Um, out of all of the dots, is this one smaller 
or larger than the dots? Is it bigger or smaller? It's larger, right? It's the largest dot that we have. So it is a large dot. Now we're gonna skip down here to the pink dot and let's look at it. Is it larger or smaller than the other dots? It's smaller, right? It's the smallest dot. So flip that over and it says small, very good. How about the dot in the middle? Is it smaller or is it larger than the other dots? This one's kind of tricky. It's both, right? It's, also, it's smaller than the large dot, but it is larger than the small dot. So it is a medium dot. So there we have medium. So we have our largest, our large, and our small, our smallest, and our small, and our least small. <laughs> So we have all these different sizes. It's pretty easy. It's uh, easy just to stick with large, medium, and small, right? They come in all kinds of different sizes. Very good. This is something that you can make easily at home with just paper, and you can color your own dots and try to figure out which ones are smaller and which ones are larger and the order that they, that they go in. It's a great activity to do at home together. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to share with you, I really like to do art. But um, sometimes I get frustrated because I don't think that my art is very good. The truth is I really don't practice enough. But I get frustrated sometimes trying to draw. And, but I really like to make art. So one thing that I can do is make dots. So I really like to make dot art. And I just get some crayons and all different colors and make all different kinds of dots and all different shapes. You can do patterns or you can do pictures or you can just make a whole bunch of dots and make a really cool picture. And this is something that I did and it'd be pretty easy for you to do too. All you need is something to draw on and a piece of paper and there you go. So something else fun to do while you're at home So uh, that's it for this week's story time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I miss you all and I can't wait to see you very soon. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next week. Bye everybody.